Good morning. Um, yeah. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening uh, from wherever you are in this world. So it, it's a pleasure being in this hackathon. Uh, the last 48 hours has been really amazing for, for all of us and the collaboration that it has created for, for us. And I would definitely like to thank SNI and Odyssey for this amazing hackathon that we've all participated in the last 48 hours. A few weeks ago, I read this quote that said, imagine if every tree on the planet provided Wi-Fi signals. You know, we would be rushing out there to plant more trees and thereby saving the planet. Too bad, the plants only produce oxygen that we all need. Now, this was the spirit, uh, what we got when we spoke to uh, the SNI hackathon, um, you know, the theme behind them. And it was really inspiring to see such an open-ended theme and the broad ways in which this was categorized. So for a company like ours, um, we are from the company called Curl, and we specialize in deep tech solutions in IoT, blockchain, and machine learning. This was an amazing opportunity to see, okay, what could we do in a space like this and in a problem statement and a theme so broad-based and open-ended? We brainstormed and we picked this one theme on non-human economics. It's fairly evident that nature generates a huge amount of value. And what if we could find mechanisms to capture this value? What if this value is captured properly? Can we really produce tools that can help nature leverage this value? That was what we questioned ourselves. And the result of those questions was the proof of concept that we developed and we've titled it as Sakwa. So sattva is, um, is from Sanskrit, Sanskrit, which means, and this word has multiple meanings, and it means goodness, purity, essence, and finally nature itself is called sattva. And that's the theme of our, uh, that's what our uh, entire proof of concept over the, over the last 48 hours have been. So what are we focused on? At a, at a very high level, what sattva is, is an AI-based decision-making system which is ultimately going to be into uh, something like a DAO. So what we mean is essence, essentially a whole lot of data that gets generated even before the park itself has been created. What we mean is uh, empty land that has been provided, even that we would like to rather deploy AI-based systems to identify how could we really leverage on carving out different zones within the park and figuring out what should go within those zones and how exactly would we be leveraging that. Starting from there, we could go all the way to figure out different ways in which this value can be captured and enhanced. And once we manage to capture it and enhance it, how could we leverage? So that's the, uh, that's the high level goal. But of course, all of this cannot be done within a very short period of time. So we've zeroed in on one specific element that we wanted to focus on. So the architecture that we've used is essentially how can the system, how can a park or a reserve or anything in nature generate its own content and specifically through either IOD powered cameras or, uh, or people who want to contribute to it or professionally employed photographers who could contribute and upload pictures and allow the park to monetize it. And that uh, picture or image the rights of which will be transferred to this particular entity, which is Satwa being the platform and any park that could choose to do this. Are, we've uh, tried to look at how Tear Garden, a park like Tear Garden could leverage something like this. An image captured, the rights given to an entity like Tear Garden, which is leveraging the Satwa platform. And what would that mean? Is that, uh, that could either be directly put onto a platform like OpenSea as an NFT token, which others could procure, that value that gets generated can come back to the park and the park can choose to do what it wants to do with it. What if not only do we provide the raw image of what is provided here, which itself will be unique, what if the park had its own theme of how it could convert that into art? And that's something that you would see in our demo as well. Not just the raw image, but also how would it go? So the three ways in which we've tried to solve, all of which you will see in a demo in the, in the next couple of minutes, is we have cameras which could be capturing, which are installed within the park and real-time pictures are being taken, whether it's a video stream or otherwise. We have the Sattva, um, you know, we have the uh, 
moment capture model, which essentially looks at capturing an image from a video stream to recognize if people aren't in the frame and when if things of interest are in the frame, for example, animals or birds of interest, it would capture an image. You will see a live demo. You would see an option where you could use a Twitter feed and we're going to show that live as well. You can add Satwa NFT as the hashtag and that data will be streamed right back to us. Or you could come log into the Satwa platform and upload an image that you have chosen and you want to give that back to the team. So what we've done is we rely on GANs um, extensively, um, specifically cyclic GANs that we, you could see an example for. We tokenize this and this is using the OpenSea market that, uh, that you could see this listed on a real time basis. Everything that you would see in the example, you can check it out in the OpenSea market as well. So this is uh, how it would work. Here is an original image, which we captured two days ago in one of the parks in Bangalore. And once from that original, there are two variants of how that original itself could be rendered onto a platform. And once that's done, we could further apply a very specific theme. Here, here the artist has chosen to go with one particular artist. I mean, more like a Van Gogh style of uh, you know how this would render, and it would come out like this. So that would be a very unique uh, footprint. I mean, a fingerprint of art form, which could then be subscribed by people. We've also gone one step further and looked at the second use case of how can the parks itself leverage on, on AI based decision making. So here is a sample of 13 different kinds of things that we could uh, probably grow in the park. And by now, most of this grow naturally. And we've tried to see how can the park optimize for itself. So using the genetic algorithm and considering that as the set, it has the algorithm has resolved it down to these are the things that potentially could grow on the basis of what would be aesthetically pleasing plus what would be profitable for the park. So these were the two use cases we looked at tackling as a part of this um, this weekend. And we would now show you a live demo of um, what we worked on uh, with this. So uh, over to you Vinay. Yeah, so what you're seeing here is the code running uh, on, on, on a platform. Uh, the Satwa user interface uh, should be coming up. This is our, uh, our backend service that are running. Yeah, so this is the Satwa NFT token. This is the OpenSea link. And here is our art gallery. So we would be, um, yeah. Go ahead. So this is our base page. And as I said, we've chosen to go with uh, Grover uh, you know, Tier Garden as our uh, option of choice. And this is the home screen. You could move to the art gallery. And in the art gallery, the, as, I should, as I mentioned, there are three uh, ways in which it can be handled. One of it is the default way in which um, images are going to be um, exchanged. And we would also have a live Twitter feed. Um, my co-founder Shivram would be sharing an image on Twitter and we would see that a live interaction happening uh, in, in just a few minutes, basically, when it's created. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, yeah, so here is the image. As I said, this is a real-time camera that, I mean, this is a video footage, but it is simulating how it would work. It would not click a picture when you when it sees people around it because it detects it's a person. But when it found the first image where it was just the wildlife of interest and no nothing in the background, the, the GAN identifies that this is what it needs to capture a moment in time. That was the moment capture filter that we just spoke about, which we developed it over the last two days. So this is one of the use cases. This would be captured and then sent sent out, and that would convert into an NFT. We can move to the next use case. Um, yeah, so let me upload a, a tweet, uh, Twitter. Uh, so uh, I've just put Satwa NFT uh, and I'm tweeting it. It takes around 10 to 15 seconds. I think Vinay, can, uh, can you show what is happening in the backend? Uh, in the Twitter, yeah. So image is downloaded and it's uploaded. Yeah. 
yeah so so now it is being the image is art is getting generated and it's being post on OpenSea. So uh, the the image which I've uploaded is going to OpenSea and we can go there and see. Maybe you can refresh uh, refresh the page. So OpenSea is a place where a uh, lot of art uh, art can be bought and sold. So uh, uh, so actually you can go and buy it now if you want. Yeah, that is the image which I had uploaded recently. And yeah, it's available for point one either. <laughs> if you, uh, yeah, over to you, Jay. Yeah. So okay. we we know that uh, using the Ring Five Ethereum network and the ERC seven twenty one is the contract in which we applied. So this whole of this, we want to build out this marketplace by forking the Ocean Protocol and uh, building it out. But in the 48 hours, what we had, we already had too many elements. We had the GANs that needed to be developed. We had to build out the user interface with interactions and social, and ultimately connect it to uh, marketplaces and bring it back. So this is what we've done. Uh, so I will uh, hand over my time so that uh, any, any members of the jury could actually ask us questions or get clarifications on what we've done. Thank you so much. There, there are um, you, you generated so much over the last um, forty-eight hours. It, it's so impressive. Um, I, I want to be respectful of of the time of other other um, entrants, um, and we went a little over time here. So I I want to um, definitely encourage jury to come in, and if you have got something quick to ask, feel free. Otherwise, we'll give you the applause, and we'll move into our final phase. But thank you so much, uh, Bangalore Torpedo. Huge applause for the amazing work that you did um, this weekend.